This video explains how to draw a Venn diagram with up to seven sets using the Venn package in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to install and load the Venn package, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line three of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the Venn package, such as the Venn function, as you can see in line five of the code. And in order to draw a Venn diagram based on the Venn package, we simply need to specify the number of sets within the Venn function. So in this example, in line five of the code, I'm creating a Venn diagram with five different sets. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom right that a new Venn diagram is appearing, which is containing the five sets A, B, C, D, and E. If we want to increase the number of sets, we simply can increase the number within the Venn function. So in line seven of the code, I'm drawing a Venn diagram with six sets. And in line nine of the code, I'm drawing a Venn diagram with seven sets. It is also possible to draw a Venn diagram with labels using the I labels argument, as you can see in line 11 of the code. So in this case, I'm setting the I labels argument to be equal to true. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom right that a new Venn diagram has been created, which is showing labels within each cell of the Venn diagram. And we can also use the C color argument, as you can see in line 13 of the code, to add colors to our Venn diagram. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom right that another Venn diagram has been created, which is containing different colors for each of the sets of our Venn diagram. So until now, I have only used the Venn package to draw Venn diagrams. However, it's also possible to draw these kind of Venn diagrams with the style of the ggplot2 package. And for this, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 and ggpolypath packages. As you can see in lines 15 to 19 of the code, I have installed these packages already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load them with line 16 and line 19 of the code. And after running these lines of code, we can specify the ggplot argument within the Venn package to be equal to true. So if you run line 21 of the code, you can see that another Venn diagram is created. And this time, the output of the Venn diagram is a ggplot2 object, as you will see later on. So in lines 23 to 24 of the code, I'm using another style, which is the line type argument. And I'm setting this argument to be equal to dotted to draw different types of lines in our Venn diagram. And I can also use other ggplot2 styles, such as you can see in lines 26 and 27. So in this case, I'm specifying a certain theme for our plot, or more precisely, the theme gray. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that the style of our Venn diagram has been updated once again. And this time, the background of our Venn diagram is similar to the typical ggplot2 style that you might already know from other tutorials. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.